click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the classification of alpha amino acids and now in this topic I'm going to talk about the acid hydrolysis of proteins. So what are the products that are being formed? This is what I'm going to talk about in this topic. So friends, in this topic I'm going to talk about the acid hydrolysis of proteins. So as we understand that is proteins are made up of the alpha amino acids. So in that case, suppose if I'm using a particular protein where I have to give the general formula for that that is suppose if I'm using that is NH2 CH R1 here suppose we have CO NH and again suppose here we have CH this is R2 and followed by CO then NH CH and suppose if this is R3 and this is COOH so this is nothing but a general formula for a particular protein and suppose if we have to do the acid hydrolysis so in that case we are using H plus and that is we'll use hydrolysis and this hydrolysis it could be done with the help of an acid or it could be done with the help of an alkaline or with the help of an enzyme also so while hydrolysis we could find that is there is a possibility of formation of the three amino acids so in that case suppose if there is a hydrolysis over here that is suppose this is nothing but this is a peptide linkage or we could also call it as amide linkage so in that case basically we could say during hydrolysis one of the hydrogen suppose if we are using water so that is one of the hydrogen atom it will stay over here while the rest of the OH it will stay on this side so similarly we could also say that is there will be a bond breaking over here and that is how basically we could get an OH hydroxyl group over here and one hydrogen it will be stayed over here so that is the reason that we could get that is three different that is the alpha amino acid depending upon if all the r1 r2 and r3 are different so in that case the product that is what we could get is we could get the first product that is nh2 ch which have r1 group and cooh this is an amino acid because we have got nh2 and cooh the both are in the same that is in the same molecule and talking about the next one that is here also we have got that is NH2 CH R2 this is COOH plus here also we could get that is NH2 CH COOH and this is R3 so therefore so here I have given a reaction where we have obtained three amino acids but also there are certain molecules or there are certain proteins to which suppose if that undergoes through hydrolysis through acidic medium through basic medium or by an enzyme they could produce n number of the alpha amino acid and this was just a short description about the acid hydrolysis of proteins so as to obtain the amino acid so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much